Hey folks, Sarah here, and today I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to try casting a game of Dawn of War 2 Retribution that I've played recently. Um, I used to love this game a lot. Uh, I played about 1,500 hours on my Steam stats for um, Chaos Rising, which was the expansion before this. I played a little Retribution, uh, but then I kind of went off the game. Uh, because of all the big changes, Imperial Guard and such. Um, I enjoyed it, but I had other things to do. I came back to it after about a year or so of not playing it, with my friend here, Alien, who was playing some sort of custom-skinned Inquisitor. Me, playing the Tech Marine. Shut up. Um, and we're against level 60 Force Commander. And level 60 warlock spin around. My ally has secured a requisition point. Let's see what's so it seems early game. We did some shooting and stuff, so this is what happens in early game. <laughs> right, anyway, so Alien's gone double Imperial Guardsman and Sentinel. The Warlock's done quite a standard build of uh, Guardian Shi. I've just taken one attack marine, and so has the... So we're all quite shooty at this point. The only melee unit, really, apart from the commanders, are on the Eldar side of the benches, which are very effective melee units, especially mid-game. When they're upgraded, they can take out pretty much anything. And we're all just capping. The first bit of the game usually we're is losing a power node to the enemy. You run around, you cap, you skirmish, you try and push people off. Um, so, I guess I pushed off the LR, then you pushed me off, and now I'm in between the zone. It's time to retreat. That's a bit strange. Now he'll cap that side the back. On the other front, aliens, Imperial Guardsmen, who have a nice death pool. Blood Ravens, Blood Ravens, as Boreal says. Or he's playing, yeah, those are Blood Ravens. I'm trying to ninja cap with my scouts over here. So, people who aren't familiar with multiplayer, it's very rock, paper, scissors kind of game. Uh, there's melee squads, which are effective against. Rain squads, rain squads, which are effective against melee squads. Then you have vehicles and anti vehicle um, capable units. Um, the objectives of these victory locations you have to get through them. Counter ticks down to 500. So over here, I don't know what this guy was thinking, charging his benches into that mess, but there's too much firepower and alien force to not. Well, I was just trying to harass to stop us from tapping right now. I have taken the build which I usually don't take, which is to take a massive front of the ult. My attack. Just to force back. I had a I had a fear that this guy would come out pro um, quite heavy on when I saw his four luck with the horns. So my warlock has horns too, but I hadn't played for such a long time that I was afraid. Um, so I went with a quick weapon upgrade just to be able to put some pressure on guardians and things like that. Alien obviously got pushed back when I wasn't looking over there. Uh, and the other space marines take the middle. I'm trying to harass power from my marines. So what I'll do is just hide them in a building where they can't get the shoes can't get to. But they got suppressed just before they went in, so they did take a bit of damage. And now they can just stay there. My scouts are over here. Decapping enemies' requisition points because requisition points mature over time, so the longer you hold them, the more resources they have. And now this guy's gone for Rangers, so they will actually put out a lot of sniper damage. So my attacks over here, one attack down, grenade thrown in, but I just about touched it. Did lose another, no, didn't lose another attack, but he went down. And you take less range damage. So. My guys managed to get away from the ranger fire. You do, however, take more melee damage from the marines, so retreating early is often the point. Now, this guy is doing what I did to him, uh, taking away one of our natural recognition points. This is just me trying to hold off here. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did destroy the uh, node on his power of generators, but he just pulled that back, uh, and it wouldn't make much of a difference unless I destroyed a couple of generators too. Then you'd struggle to have a good ball. Right now, a lot of little skirmishes going on. There's some captains, which this guy's ninja capping our natural VP down in our base area. We're obviously blue on the map. An ally has secured a power node. Now he's got assault marines. I was probably tacking up to assault marines too. Yep, making them now. Alien went for Catachans. Bring next forth unit. the artificer's and the, armor. Uh, Warlock player has decided to go with a second guardian squad. Probably just An put a little bit of arm under as really damage. It's a blob of guardians. It really shouts of serious damage. At least it's There is uh, the Iron Halo, which gave him that little bubble. His energy goes down instead of his HP when he uses it. So you see Commander over here. I took the Artificer Armor. Um, I'm very bad at using proximity mines, and I very rarely use them. But uh, I took it so that I'd have more health regeneration against the Eldar, especially with Rangers on the field. I didn't want to get sniped out. Pushed off. Aliens take him across the wall, which has a special ability to. Basically, can mobilize. So they can move. I uh, I went in quite badly there and uh, tried to push back but both armies for me, and I didn't. And some of these are the Aliens coming into us now, but it's still in this fighting in the HQ. They're in the cap. Unfortunately, I got pushed off, and now there's a whole army against aliens. A whole double army against aliens. So, And I'm not sure why. Oh, that's a banshee spot in between there. Well, the maybe there was two as well. Yeah, of course. Managing to hold on to these power points at least. We have two gen farms going on. Uh, they also have two gen farms. One of them's right outside my base, which I just feel bad about. I'm. I'm I'm a reasonably effective uh, player, but uh, since I've come back to playing, I'm a bit more fast and loose with holding my own resources. <laughs> I'm trying to play aggressively, but I'm just not getting it. Because um, Rangers took a bit of damage out of my attacks, assault rings jumped me, I jumped him, I took a grenade, I ate a grenade, but he did more damage to himself, taking out the whole Guardians. I try to run my scouts in to throw a grenade over here. Aliens fighting over me. It's too late. I need mobilization for that program. And my scouts got beat by the first. It's all going off in the middle. It's Rangers being constantly mastering everyone. Not being threatened at all from range. Getting out on this. Now, squads are much cheaper to reinforce than to build new ones and also it takes less time, so it's very much in your favor. Push, uh, push out, but also to retreat quickly so you don't lose a whole squad. If you lose the last model of a squad, you're in trouble, especially with upgrades and things on a the squad. They don't lose upgrades. If they lose models, except for a sergeant, which can be picked off. So I made another attack squad because I just felt like I needed more firepower at this point and I didn't have enough um, power resource to actually An ally has build taken anything a victory point. Uh, of a more advanced level in tech in tier 2. Aliens make us soldiers. And also harassing their natural power, uh, their natural VP. But it looks like the enemy scouts are going to come for our VP down at the bottom of the map. Way back up top. Though he seems to have two 
200 points yeah. remaining. And the enemy is behind me. If I can push back the elder up, I think uh, the addition of Zomprint is really getting messy with this little guy. Elder, he got scared with his guardians, but his rangers are standing in the fight and they're just pestering with the for stuff to catch up. Me desperately trying to craft some power before we get pushed off again. Last, but it's a bit of a mess. Oh, and Alien lost the Guardian Squad. No, the Guardian Squad. The Imperial Guardsman Squad. That's okay. That's pretty bad. He did lose three, two squads in retreat. Uh, Alien. That is the beginning of the end for most fights. But we're leading on big games by quite a significant end. I tried desperately to build a turret just to deny them this power, but this match is sprinted to just before it was made and pushed me off. Now I'm just... Alien's whole army is retreating. He threw all his grenades at my scouts, but I don't think it didn't make that much of a difference in his matches. And me just harassing from building because he doesn't have grenades yet. But that's like me. Look, Alien fishing up with the stormtroopers. The librarian has come out on the field and zapped some people. And we're gonna lose this power if we're not careful as well. Let me just try to push out here. Keep the elder off my power. <laughs> I'm very successfully running my scouts. This is new. Smiling into the Rangers, which is probably the smart move immediately for someone to train the Rangers. Down here at the Space Marines, we're just lurking around that tower. I'm burning some service damage. I mean, apparently I didn't notice that Librarian was chasing me for a while. So I kind of let him run some attacks. And we are suffering heavy at this losses. point, I felt my assault marines were so close to the VP, I might as well have just gone for it. But the rest of the army should On the other hand, it did buy a little wild cat back down there. So I just went around and harassed them a little bit. But I took some stupid damage over here. Did not look up in time. Just focused on my tech. Top range to be huge beating. Um, my <laughs> tag marine is not actually killing the flame with us up there. Luckily, I'm thinking 40 HP. Top marine gets to run out of there, but he runs through two tag spots. Oh no, he makes it. No, he doesn't. Oh, they turned around right at the edge of range and picked him off. So I lost my top marines. Aliens made a, uh, a leap for us. He's given it. I'm not sure if that's upgraded barrel. I do love how much micro is required in this game. It's very, uh, it's really focused on the tactics. You don't have to worry too much about resource gathering and building bases, which frustrates me to no end. I mean, cutting down wood and <laughs> mining stuff has never been my favorite focus of the strategy games. Relic of Nailed It the Dawn of War series, and I mean, this is the pinnacle of strategy for me. It's a pure combat strategy. There's always things going on at multiple points in the map, like these scouts for ninja camping down here. This Lehman Russ is in trouble because the force commander has a power fist, which is very, very good at anti And if these uh, melter bombs get upgraded on that assault marine as well, they will be able to immobilize the vehicle and slow it down a great deal. We shall make it and then the force commander will just crush it with the power fist and through it. Eldar pushing down on my lane again. We have lost a building to they the are enemy. very low on the beats. The enemy team is at 58 units, and we are at 427. So we're just about 
uh, managing to maintain because of the advantage we had in the early game, even though we've completely lost the momentum in the last of a vast number of squads at this point. So I made a uh, library. I just avoided that front because I saw how bad it was. Um, these plasma shields that the Guardians have put down, the energy shields, you cannot shoot through them. Um, they have a certain amount of damage that they can, that they can take. Uh, not that they do, but yeah, that they can take um, until that total amount of damage has been going through. No damage goes through, so it's perfect cover. It's better than any other type of cover. This guy obviously neglected his tech marines for just a little while. <laughs> just bombed them, everything in the melee of them. So I took out two spots, so we did gain some pushback there, I'd say. Something of a pushback. That distracted the enemy for a little while. The, the Eldar eventually came around the back. Saw that coming on the map, so I didn't think it was really good for looking at it. So I was just mass retreated. And the enemy's been pushed off to the side a little bit. So at this point, after killing the enemy tanks, I got copy. I was like, oh, we've killed all the Space Marine guys, let's just push, we can hold, we'll win still. But we shall make it so. as smoothly as planned. And there's two Lee Morris tanks rolling around. I love this one. It's plasma. Because now Alien doesn't really have that much. <laughs> and I kept avoiding the side because, oh my god. I didn't realize he brought up D cannons so much later. They're really good artillery. I guess I realize now. Almost annihilated my attack range in that shot. And then I realized that my attack started dying really quick to Eldar fire. But I was completely pushed off my natural side. There's nothing I could do. I even had Banshees in my retreat path, but he didn't get to me quite in time. We push back the veil of shadows. So we're both kind of low on capping units. Well, it certainly is. He's just maintaining the field with his tanks alone. And the enemy's ever pushing up. Now he's got Banshees on his tanks, and Banshees when upgraded do a reasonable amount of soft AV, um, which is enough to kill a tank on the Now we thought we would double up, but um, I had not realized that Alien was getting melted on there. And my attacks were confused and already moving in the wrong direction. Um, and I was looking up here, on the other side of the map. Uh, so, Unfortunately, I let Alien die. <laughs> My bad. Um, I was trying to ninja cap. Um, I don't know why I stopped ninja capping. I think I realized too late that I'd abandoned uh, Alien and made a desperate attempt to give him help. I just didn't go over. And over here, we tried to push them back. I guess um, they're a little more strong than the robot with the energy shield. I lost another attack squad, and I didn't really try to do the predator. In this case, I killed the predator. Obviously, I didn't know that until later. Predator just quite easily counter -pulled. And then he tried to base rip me. <laughs> and he knew me in the base. But luckily, I managed to kill that force commander with the audacity. And being in base anyway, the slow damage that. Um, the orbital strike does didn't really do much to me. I recovered fairly quickly. The Eldar building up his forces again. An alien just trying to ninja capping and stealth. Roving around trying to decap him. It's important to do. Uh, normally we'd be trying to power deny, uh, trying to power deny him, but we're on such a back foot here. Alien only has two squads left in the tank. I don't know where he lost his other than Russell, unfortunately. Um, and stealth banshees. The most evil of stealth units coming in. 
my scouts had no energy, so they didn't really stop that attack. Slow. I tried to throw my dreadnought into this little fight to go for the decanons, but they hit him. They hit him a lot. I didn't expect that. I <laughs> just about pushed off the decanons with that dreadnought just at the end of its tether already. Alien regroup and gets another tank. The enemy just defending the middle, uh, pretty much holding on. I'm not sure why they didn't build back this third gen. I guess they didn't really need it at this point. I'm so done with them. I drove out this way. I did um, use my global heal ability for repair and attack. Um, but it really failed it. Right now. A lot of firepower going off, smiting the library, grenades flying around. But eventually I'm pushed off again. He's got his warlock and his expansions. Uh, he's waiting for the valley to be on the other side. Gleeman Russell was a predator. It's a great way. Um, he's got melter guns behind the predator, so if you want that, but melter bombs on the Gleeman Russ. Let's get control. His force command over this power fist could probably do some serious damage to that. Though he seems to be immobilized and stunned. He's been pushed back just enough so that he can find the players. And our enemy over here already making an avatar. Shocking. I'm still in tier 2. I'm the only person left in tier 2 just failing this game a little bit. I could not have expected how badly it would have gone for me. I kept losing on its one outlook. But I guess I'll I'll get back to the flow pretty quickly. I'm trying to rush, use a veil of time to rush my tags into melee to push off those decanons, but I had nothing to back them up with, I was just buying myself time, I don't even know why, I should just um, been ninja camping all over the map, it would have made more sense at this point. On the other, si on the other hand, um, the Southern Space Marine took a lot of losses against Alien, just An ally serious damage coming point. off the Lehman Russ, he lost his Predator, Research he lost his Temperance, so he's down. So quite minimal troops too. I tried to ninja <laughs> cap up here the uh, Eldar Eldar still to deny me, so I just went back straight after I avoided it. Um, but his matches were already in position and then I noticed the avatar. It was like one hell away. Nothing to be done. Alien actually has an army, which is like myself, so I went back. Ouch, that's a, that's a great strike. Right, yeah. So much of the song that's straight through all that. Melee. So I just try to bring my spots back up into this. But it's a bit late already. Over on the other side, everyone's aliens been pushed off. They're trying to ninja cap RVP. Still have, which is the only thing keeping us in the game, frankly. And then I realized how much I'm floating. My resources were insanely large, and I was just messing around. Uh, so I went to Tier Three and I started thinking about Terminator. And it was funny because I kept looking at the VPs and thinking, "We're being destroyed. Why are we still winning?" Because we really do have quite a large lead still. Uh, Understood. And really, that's the only thing keeping us in this game. Especially against the super heavies, there's an avatar and a land raider in the structure. Do not let his sacrifice be in vain. We have 200 points remaining. Scouts under attack! Enemy contact! But it's. It's not going well for us, but the sky is about as weak as me at this point. Two, two squads each. Uh, super heavy, and well, he's still got his uh, commander alive. The Eldar player has really. He's got all the units on the field. He's got enough to defend this whole side of the map. Actually, I don't know why he'd want to defend this side of the map. I gave up on it a while ago, but I think he noticed that I kept running down and just like a nutter, so he thought, what the hell, free kills. I summoned in some Termies just to deny him. Capping away my stomach. 
when me and Alien switched over. He capped and I moved up in the middle. Uh, all we needed to do was hold two VPs for eight seconds. <laughs> and that that was the goal of the game at this point. Terminator is very hard to disrupt, to knock over, and to kill. So it's smart to do. That's why, which is what I did, I ran straight in. And then comes the Land Raider. So this is pretty much all I have at this point. Terminators. They're being hit by um, D cannon blasts. And these are void blasts that D cannon can use in special. And that can disrupt Terminators, so they got flung all over the place. He also managed to pull them. So I ran my attacks in as well. All this like tank battle is going on all around us. Heavy artillery fire. The Avatar did something stupid. He aimed away from the victory by <laughs> my Terminators with their last little breath of hell capped. So now that we capped two victory points, we just have to hold out for a few seconds. That warlock is about to decap, but it's all over. And that is how you win a desperate last stand. Very close, and yeah, we by rights should have lost. We got absolutely destroyed. But it was a fun game. A little crazy last minute resistance is sometimes what it's all about. So, that's our little Space Marines and Imperial Guard Alliance versus Space Marines and Eldar Battle.